Hello everybody, today I'm going to be taking a look at a tool called Pixel FX Designer. I was handed a free key for it by David Macia in exchange for making this video. I wasn't paid to make the video, but I was given a free key, full disclosure, and all that jazz. The first thing I need to get out of the way about Pixel FX Designer, which I believe at some point in production interestingly may have been called Particle FX Designer, is that it is not what it might look like at first glance, especially to long-time game maker users. You might already be familiar with tools that allow you to preview and create particle effects, generating the appropriate GML code for the emitters and particles that you can then copy into Game Maker. This is not one of those tools. This is a tool that allows you to use particles to create a huge variety of different and complex effects that you can then export as a pre-baked PNG sprite sheet. You can also export .gif files or even a JSON. It's a JSON. This thing. It's incredible! With all of the emitter data, doing this, in theory, would allow you to recreate the effects you build in the tool dynamically in your game at runtime, similar to game maker specific tools that generate GML code. This would then obviously maintain the randomness and other benefits of runtime particle systems. This would also, though, obviously require a lot of your own legwork, time, energy, and know-how to set up. Especially if you wanted to then also use the pixel scale render effect which lets you quickly create effects that fit into a pixel art environment. Arguably one of the key selling points of pixel FX designer. Although it can also be used for HD effects just as well. Tool supports using lots of different emitters. You can have particles create new particles on death or midlife, create timelines and paths, use attractors which is a thing that's disappeared from Game Maker, coming from Game Maker to Game Maker Studio. You can use sprites as particles or use sprites from the huge library of shapes built in, including a surprisingly large number of different star shapes. Like seriously, there's a lot of stars. What's with all the stars? The long and short of it is there's a ton of stuff here and I guarantee there's stuff it can do and effects it's capable of that you won't have expected. The first thing that really struck me about the program when I used it for the first time is that I had no idea what I was doing. Particle effects are an interesting beast. You can do so much with them, but it takes a lot of experience, knowledge, and often creative thinking to be able to get the most out of them. On Twitter, Davit has no shortage of GIFs demonstrating the many awesome effects that you can build with the tool, and it ships with many examples to help give you ideas on how things can be used. Not to mention video tutorials and full documentation, which you are going to need, because you still really need to have the drive to learn if you're going to get the most out of these kind of effects, assuming you're not already a bit of a particle wizard. So I spent a while stumbling around just trying to replicate one of the simpler but very pretty effects I had already seen built with the tool on my own. I managed it happily enough and was pretty satisfied, though I found myself often with the problem I have with certain tools where I don't quite know what to do to get the exact effect I want, and I find myself just toying with knobs and levers and often getting distracted by new interesting things I found. In a way it reminds me of working with drag and drop in Game Maker. It's got a lot of power and depth, but you have to be able to think a bit creatively and combine tools in somewhat non-obvious ways in order to mold the final result you want. But that pretty much is just the reality of working with particle effects. The UI isn't perfect, some of the sliders are frustratingly imprecise, there are a couple of crashes that can occur, and there are a couple of confusingly named options or options with the same name that do different things, but thankfully, almost everything has a pretty clear tooltip and there is, as I said, full documentation to help. Overall, I expect that many will initially find this tool fairly situational when they first pick it up, but I think over time you'll get out of it whatever you're prepared to put into it. It demands experience, imagination and practice, but is capable of some incredible results and could become a huge time saver, even for an experienced effects or pixel artist. It's out now on Steam or Itch.io. I recommend Itch.io because I frankly just like them more as a platform, and I think you can get a Steam key out of that either way. In any case, it'll cost you about $30? Oof, that's not cheap. Hit that little bugger to the end of the video, didn't I? I know a lot of people will want to know, is it worth the money? People always want a quick answer in these sorts of reviews, but honestly, that value judgment is kind of up to you. I got my key for free, but I wouldn't have regretted dropping $30 on it either but that might be worth more to me than to you. You know your projects, you know your budget, you gotta make that call, get off my back. Either way, I think this is a really badass tool with a lot of potential and super worth more people knowing about it. Thank you all for watching the video, thanks Davit for providing the key that allowed me to make this video, and I'll catch all of you next time. A huge thanks as always to my Patreon supporters who enabled me to keep making these videos. A special shout out in particular and in no particular order to Andrew Gilbert, Arthur Kyle Vandalay, Bowser the Dog, TT, Daka Dondigo, Dan, Harold Gidry, James Grumley, Jason McMillan, Kimo Savalampi, Marcus, Mark Lintz, 
Matt Cote, Michael Ward, Mike KB, Nick Slabish, Owen Morgan, Patrick Guffey, Penguin Muffins, Robert Churches, Roven Darlin, Run, Seanathan, Stephen Hagen, Tobias Scholten, Turtle Time, Zephyr Flame, and Zinan May. Thank you to all you ace people and all the ace people listed here, and thank you for watching. I'll catch you all next time.